Tech stocks are back on top, driving the current market rally amid renewed momentum in the AI hype. And while the rising tide seems to be lifting all tech boats, at least for now, when it comes down to the bottom line, which industries really stand to make a buck here from AI? Dan Halley has been tracking this for us. Dan, where do things stand? Yeah, Shana, there's a few industries that are seemingly getting a, a good amount of AI plan. I just want to go over them real quickly, and then we'll get into the businesses that are really making some moolah on this. So just some of the industries that you can think of are automotive. Uh, they've been doing this for, for a little bit now. If you think of self-driving cars, it's AI, right? We, we talk about generative AI, the big explosion from uh, chat GPT, but AI has been around for quite a while. It's, it's been on my phone. It's, it's going in a lot of smart TVs and it's part of the automobile now, whether it's uh, keeping you in your lane with lane assist or warning you about people in front of you uh, with that kind of automatic cruise control. Another one uh, is actually agriculture, which is really interesting uh, at CES, uh, the Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, there were uh, tractors that can look at a field and then notice where a weed is and then spray only on that weed. It makes sure that herbicides aren't being sprayed over everything and it helps save them some money. And then obviously healthcare, that's something where generative AI is looking to break in, uh, where it will allow doctors to quickly summarize uh, what they see from patients, giving them a quick rundown. Those are some of the industries. Let's look at some of the companies, though, that are starting to make some of that cash. Uh, we'll start off with the big one. Obviously, we have Microsoft and Google. They are making money uh, through OpenAI, uh, excuse me, through OpenAI with Microsoft, that uh, team up. And then with Google, uh, their Gemini. Right now, what Microsoft is doing is they're offering uh, their Copilot 365 for $30 per seat per month. That's per person. Uh, those are for every business now. They recently opened that up for every business that wants access to it. Previously, it was just larger businesses with 300 employees and more. Now, uh, they're selling it for $20 a month for regular folks. Uh, we also have Tesla in there. Uh, they're using AI. Uh, Meta is using AI. They've been using it for a while, but they're really leaning into it. You saw that they're spending billions of dollars on NVIDIA chips. Speaking of NVIDIA, they're also making money hand over fist. We'll see how they do in their upcoming earnings, but they are just crushing it as far as uh, bringing in the cash. And then AMD, one of their others, uh, doing a big amount of money as well. Uh, Amazon, also one of the companies that's making cash. They've been offering uh, different instances for Gen AI and AI that companies can then latch into and build their own AI capabilities through. So they're doing that. Uh, on the chip side, we obviously have NVIDIA, uh, Intel, TSMC, absolutely dominating because they make the chips. They're the ones that make it for the likes of Qualcomm, uh, for Meta, for Microsoft, for, for Google. They're the ones that are doing all of this. So they're the powerhouse behind that. Intel trying to make its way in. But look, they're not on the, the AI side as much as something like an NVIDIA uh, or an AMD. However, when you look at AMD or NVIDIA, what they sell, is, well, NVIDIA, they sell graphics cards. They're trying to get CPUs. Intel makes the CPUs that work with those. So anytime you see uh, a new graphics chip going into uh, from uh, NVIDIA into a business's servers, Intel is connected to that to some degree most of the time. So don't sleep on them when it comes to this huge amount of money that's coming from AI.